What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about how to say the months in Norwegian. Like most Americans, I only speak English, but every now and then, I think it's fun to step outside of my comfort zone and learn a little bit about the Norwegian language. I've learned about Norwegian numbers, Norwegian colors, and today I think I'm ready for the months in Norwegian. Pretty soon, I'm going to be as smart as the average Norwegian three-year-old or something, right? So <laughs> I'm slowly but surely learning. Let's take a look at uh, months in Norwegian. Hallo alle sammen, og velkommen til en ny episode av Learn Norwegian Naturally. Okay. Jeg heter Peder, og i denne episoden så skal vi gå gjennom de norske månedene. Måne? So I'm pretty sure that's what months is in Norwegian. It's fun just listening to him talk. Just hearing someone speak Norwegian, even though I don't really catch everything. Januar. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we're jumping right into it. Okay. Januari. Januar? You know, what's really nice about Norwegian, I'm starting to realize, is thank goodness, but there's a lot of similarities between Norwegian words and English words. I'm curious, did that make it easier? I'm curious. And... English. I'm curious, does that make it easier for Norwegians to learn English when growing up? Does that make it a bit easier? Because I think I can actually remember this. January and Januar. Januar. Oh, well, you know what actually makes this difficult is it's very specific. The pronunciation is very, very specific and... I know I am not pronouncing it exactly correct. So I need to hear that again. Januar. Januar. Okay. Januar. Januar. I can't quite tell if I am nailing it or not. I, I think I am. Januar. Yeah, okay. I'm so glad that he did that. In slow mo, <laughs> that was a little weird, but I'm so glad he did that in slow motion. What is that sound at the end of the word? I don't even know how to make that noise. We don't really do that in English that I'm aware of. That at the end of the word is like ar ah ar like that or. Januar. Januar. Ja Januar. Like that? Was that was that pretty good? I that that's the best I can do. See, I thought oh my gosh, I thought this was easy. I was like, oh January, Januar. But it, but to pronounce it correctly is the key. I want to have good pronunciation. Jan Januar. I, is that better? I think that's better. Januar. 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 Februar. Oh my gosh, every every single word he ends with this ar, this this roll. Um I didn't even know I didn't even notice that. Like honestly, when other Norwegians are speaking, I haven't never even noticed that. Uh let's keep going though. Gotta persevere through here. Uh <laughs> this is another pretty easy one, February. Fe Februar. Like that? Februar. 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 I didn't know about the R. The R. Since when is there so much R? Where did, when did that start? What? Februar. Februar. So we got a January, Januar, Februar. Oh my, this is difficult for me and my tongue. Februar. 
Ar. Ar. Februar. Februar. Mars. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Finally, something. <laughs> Thank you. Something easy. Finally, Marsh. Marsh. I can. I can do that. I can remember that. I mean, honestly, this is getting my hopes up for the months. I think the months might not be that difficult to learn in Norwegian. These are very, very similar to the English words so far, right? Marsh. 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 It's difficult because the way they spell it is not the way that I would pronounce it. That makes it difficult to read. I would... That looks like Mars, right? In, in English, that's Mars. In Norwegian, it's Marsh. Marsh. So that, that's a little difficult, too. I wonder why that is. April. 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 There's a lot of, like, brr, brr, vibrating tongue sounds I didn't know about. I like that he's getting that detailed, though. Um, yeah, is that important for good Norwegian pronunciation? April. To do that? Um, so far, these are really, really easy to remember, but difficult to read and, and difficult to pronounce perfectly. <laughs> April. 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 May. 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 Oh, yeah, this is great. May. May. This is this is great so far. I mean, some of these. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Januar. End with the tongue roll thing. Januar. Um, Februar. Right. Februar. Uh, March. March. April. April, right? Is that what that is? Let me hear that again. April. April. Yeah, these aren't too bad. These are actually... They're... I mean, in the grand scheme of things, these are very, very similar to the English words, so I should not be complaining. Uh, how do you say this one again? My. My. <laughs> My. 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 Okay. Det blir väl rart att se det sagt. I I I need him to say this stuff slowly. I am depending on him saying it slowly or I would have no idea how to pronounce this because when Norwegians speak quickly, I mean, I think me and basically most Americans get very very lost uh, in the pronunciation. Eh, uh, juni. Juni. Uni. Uni. It's like it's like uh, English university. Some people say, "Oh, I'm going to university. I'm going to uni," but uni is June in Norwegian. Okay, uni. Uni. Right, and and, and I've, of course I've noticed that in Norwegian, you oftentimes don't pronounce the J sound which is, again, difficult to remember. There's a lot of English habits that I have to override, you know? It, it's difficult. I think all of this would be much, much easier if you learn it when you're a child, right? Most Norwegians are learning English when they are a, a little kid, right? That That's very smart. That's probably the way to do it. But let's keep going. Uh, uni. <laughs> uni. You, what? Juli. 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 Oh, Juli. So, June is Juni. July is Juli. Oh, that is so close. Juni, Juli. Oh, that's going to be hard to remember. Juli. Okay. Well, well, Juli sounds more like July. Juli. J June, Juni. Okay, okay. Fa it's not as bad as I thought. August. Oh, what? August. Aug August. <laughs> it's, this is also funny because sometimes it just sounds like the English word being said in a funny way. Like, like someone's, like an English speaker 
saying the word in a funny way. Like, oh, August. August. How do you say it again? <laughs> August. 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 It's not August. 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 I could, <laughs> I could go around in America and be like, oh, yeah, it's an August. And people would be like, August? You, you mean August? I'd be like, yeah, August. Yeah, yeah, August. It, it's, it's so similar, but <laughs> just the littlest bit different. August. August. September. Oh my gosh, that's almost exactly the same. What is, what's even the difference? I can hardly hear the difference. September. September. It's like the rhythm, the cadence is different. Instead of September, it's September. Like a different rhythm. September. And it, it's got that R, that R sound. Do Norwegians do that for all R's? Have I just never noticed this? Have I never noticed this? Norwegians do this R, 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 R roll the R's, R, September. Like, is that normal? October. October. It's very, oh my gosh, I'm getting a little better at it. October is very easy too, thank goodness. I'm getting better at it, but it's it's difficult because it's very, very subtle. October. October. Oct, oct, oct. It's not oct, it's oct. October. October. Okay, I, I think... I think that was pretty good. Okay. October. October. November. <laughs> it cracks me up hearing him do the R. November. No. The O sounds are different. It's not November. It's no. November. 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 No. It, it, it's also the rhythm. Da da da. Da da da. October, no November, like it's a instead instead of like October, November, it's like October. It's it's like a bounce to it or something. November. Bar. November. November. December. Oh, that's the these these months are getting very 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 similar. Like, some of these are almost identical to the English. This is probably the easiest l Norwegian language lesson so far, I have to say. Except, I, I shouldn't say that. Because <laughs> this has its uh, unique lessons here in the R sound, the R and the U sound. But there's some, there's some things that are difficult about this other than memorizing what the word is. It's more about the, the pronunciation is what's hard here. December. 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 <laughs> det var alle din wow, okay, okay. Let me go back to the beginning. Um, as simple as these are, these are very, very similar to the English. That still doesn't mean that I can uh, remember them in one attempt here. So let me look at these again. I'll see if I can say it without him coaching me. And I'll check in on him if I need help. Januar. 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 Yep, Januar. Februar. Februar. Um, what else do we have? Marsh. 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 Not Mars. Marsh. Um, let me hear him say that. Marsh. Shh, shh, shh. Marsh. Marsh. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I feel a little silly sitting here. <laughs> Just going, Farrr. Marsh. <laughs> ah, whatever. Let's keep going. Um, ooh. Ap April. Ah. Uh. April. Yeah, April. Yep, yep. Uh, my. My. Yes. My. Yeah, that's that's one of the easier ones. Um, uh, uni. 
Juni is for June, and July is Uli. July is Uli, right? Uli. Juli. Oh, oh Juli. Not Uli. Juli. There's like a Y sound. Juli. Juli. Oh, it's not Uli. Not Uli. Juli. That's that's the level of specific specific step specificity that I am talking about. Juli. Juli. Oh, 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 this one. <laughs> August. <laughs> I love August. This is this is my favorite month. This is my favorite one. August. <laughs> Not August. 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 I don't know why it's August. funny. August. 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 Yep. August. September. Se September. These are these last ones are very easy. Very similar with a r at the end. Sep September. Ber. October. October. Ber. October. October. Okay. Oct. Oct. Ober. Yeah, oct. Not, not oct. 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 October. In Norwegian, are there some people who say oct, like oct, octo, October? Or, or would all Norwegians be like oct, October? Like, I, I can hear the difference there. It might mean something. October. November. 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 Okay. Yep. November. Yep, that's not too bad. And December. Yeah, pretty easy at the end here. December. December. It's spelled differently, though, with an S. Oh, God, I'm not even going to get into the spelling. I think that's a pretty good place to stop, actually. Um, I am really pleased with uh, the Norwegian months today. I'm actually really happy I'm starting to be able to hear the subtle differences in how to pronounce words in Norwegian, um, which is a skill. You, you have to be able to remember what the words are, um, like memorize what the Norwegian words are, and then it's a whole other skill to pronounce them correctly. Um, and this really kind of taught me that. Luckily, the Norwegian months were pretty similar to English months, right? Very similar. The pronunciation is what you have to practice. So I, I actually enjoyed this quite a bit. I, I do really enjoy doing the Norwegian language sort of learning and lessons. It's very fun for me since I only speak English. Uh, and I feel like I'm really accomplishing something here. Uh, and, and it's always just fun. It's a new challenge. So I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on how I did, <laughs> if I, how I did today. And if I was close to pronouncing it correctly, that'd be very helpful. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.